In a memo dated 27th October, the institution has indefinitely suspended all learning activities at the main campus and students directed to go home. A culmination of a week-long industrial action at the university by its workers. The workers have been picketing over failure by the Kosgei led a demonstration to implement their collective bargaining agreement, failure to enhance salaries despite receiving grants from the national government, failure to pay statutory deductions including bank loans and pension schemes among other grievances. The issues are varied as we have said before non-remittances of loans, non-implementation of national CBA, non-signing of internal CBA. Everything in Mo University has come to a standstill. And this vice chancellor does not want to sit down and discuss issues with the staff. When the VC, accompanied by the University Council Chair, Dr. Kimani Jugune, emerged from a meeting at the Annex campus, they acknowledged that the workers have legitimate grievances, but still argued that some of the issues they were raising lacked merit. And we've been addressing them going forward. For example, the issue of remittances. Uh, we had uh, historical, you know, backlogs uh, that we've tried to ad address going forward. And of course, we came into the period of COVID, which I, I want everybody to, to, to remember that students went home uh, way back last year for about seven months, and this year about three months. So that occasioned a delay because we had actually made significant progress in terms of remittances, in, in terms of banks. And from us, the government or the stakeholders must address the issue of fees. Even in, as I talk to you, some of you are parents. It's not possible to sustain a student with 16,000 shillings per year in a university. It's not possible. Meanwhile, the workers have been demanding either resignation or removal of the BC whom they are accused of being indifferent to their grievances. Despite the closure of the main campus, other satellite campuses will remain open. Timothy Simwake, 24.